Stu, I'm so bored. I need a way to lose money and improve my beer belly, but it's getting so hard to think of new ways to accomplish these set goals I've set for myself. Any ideas? Tom, listen to me. Yeah. I've got the solution. I don't believe you. Don't believe you. Presenting Beer Wars. Brews on a budget. Tom and Stu get £10 to spend and score points in three categories. Category 1. How many tins? Who got the most value for their money? Category 2. Variation. How many brands or styles did they manage to pick up? Remember, no doublers. And three, the decider, who got the most liquid. Stu, thank you for clearing that up. I feel all fun needs well-established ironclad rules like the ones you just mentioned. I can't have a good time otherwise. Tom, enough talk. It's time for Beer Wars. Yeah! Guys, welcome to Beer Wars, Brews on a Budget, the new show from your two favorite podcasters, now officially podcasters slash YouTubers. I don't know. Make your own mind up on that one. Maybe after you've watched the show, you can uh, Mm -hmm. decide. We'll do a vote. We'll do a vote. Finish the video first before you unsubscribe. Yeah, definitely. (laughs) Definitely. Please give us just just that shred of dignity back. Um, So, yeah, me and Stu went to... Home bargains today. Stu's got his bag. I've got my receipts. I don't want to give anything away. Did I just oh. give something away? I just you gave away the address. On there. You mean I you just, didn't pay cash? I oh know. I just, I just, yeah. My uh, local home bargains is going to get swatted. Um, <laughs> sadly. <laughs> well, I've already got my beers, so I don't give a shit. Um, but how should we do this, Stu? One by one, bit by bit. Um, how you want to play it, man? I don't know. I mean, if we do it bit by bit, it could take a little while. Okay. Whereas I think if we just unbag one at a time, well, okay. like I'll show you the contents of my carrier bag, mm. and then you can show me the contents of yours. Are you going to show me yours and I'll show you mine? Is that how it's going to go down this evening? I guess so. <laughs> so. Hot flashes already. Let's call this a uh, round one. Ding, ding. Mm-hmm. Let's so, go. Is Stuart versus Thomas? Sunday names are out, ladies and gentlemen. Um, who's going first? I think you should. I just, I, I want, I want you to do. It. I want to see what's inside your bag, the contents of your bag. Show me. Okay. Show me. Did you get a vasectomy or? I'm getting ready to unload. Okay. I can't, I can't wait. <laughs> um, oh, there we go. Some old, old speckled. speckled. I did and... not. I did not see that one in my local. Sadly. Uh, was that resolution? resolution? Oh, is that from Marston's? Is it? Yes. Yeah, I've seen that one about. I don't think that one was in mine either. I'm not actually sure what beer it is. I think it's just described as premium beer, so maybe just a bitter. <laughs> Yeah, it could be anything. Bellhaven. Oh, wow. Pilsner. Oh, definitely had no Bellhaven in my local, sadly. I think there's going to be a lot of difference between ours just because yes. of where we are in the UK, which I'm looking know. forward to it. I'm looking forward to seeing what you got. That's what I wanted from this, just so people could see the variety, the difference of mm. beers between Scotland and England. Yeah. Thornbridge. Get out. Astrid, juicy pails, yeah. and that lovely. was yes, lovely. Uh, a little tin of vocation. Okay, okay. Pride and joy. Yeah, we yeah uh, we get we gets down with the vocation from time to time. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. Another old friend. Snap. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the first snap? Yes. Yes, Guinness for an extra stout. That was exactly my thoughts. I had flashbacks to the season one, I think it was, and and thought did, I had to, uh, I had to grab. Did your home bargains have the the normal extra stout? Like, 
your standard Guinness? Oh, uh, or was it just no, the four and extra? Just the four and extra. Yeah. I uh, they had both of them for me, okay. so it was obviously the four and extra and just the extra stout. But the four and extra was ten pence dearer, and I thought. Oh, that's closer to the ten pounds. <laughs> Switch this around, and you uh, weren't going to get a carry bag because you purchased that, right? Yeah, well, that, that's you had to carry it over in your hands. You, you've got this, this bag is just for show. This is one you made earlier, and my last bottle. Ooh, yay! Another uh, blast from the past. Big old bottle of Carlsberg. Oh, it's good to see. You. I think they've reduced the volume on that now. Sadly, I think it's like. 4.8 or something or yeah, it's 4.8 yeah i think it was about 5.2 when we did it um last year the year before uh mm -hmm. still a great beer though still a fantastic beer okay thomas it's time let's see your shopping okay well just because i've already mentioned it and mine is smaller than yours sadly oh i don't know i don't I know the, uh, oh, 325 mil yeah, mine's the same. Yours looks huge for some reason. I think you've got tiny hands. I think that's what it is, Stu. You and your tiny, <laughs> tiny hands. But yeah, I'll make anything with, look big. Have some fun with them, don't you? Um, so yeah, like I had probably the same thought process as Stu. I haven't had it for a long time. And um, yeah, I think it's my favourite kind of uh, extra extra stout, I would say. Really, really <laughs> like that one. Um, I don't know whether you had this one, but this one was really surprising to me. And I like seeing them so much that I bought four, and that is probably one of, if not my favourite, international pal lager. Yes, we did nice. have Mal. those. Um, they had those in the leaving store, but I bought mine mm. in Glenrothes. Ah, so, okay. So, so there is, they are in Scotland, just yes, not in the one you visited. I have seen that more often on our shelves. Uh, well, just to prove, prove to you, I've got four, four of the best. Now, they don't count, remember. <laughs> well, Rule two. Basically, Rule doublers. about halfway through, I realised that the selection was just far too good to even care about what we're doing tonight. And I just decided to buy what I wanted uh, and, and hopefully win, which I know I will. Just put no effort in at all and just hopefully win the game. So, that so, one, that, so those four technically just counts as one. Well... It counts as four bottles, and it counts as you know in that nineteen hundred milliliters of liquid. So in the bureau where we say no doublers. Oh, I thought that was we can do doublers, but it's frowned upon because oh, I, it's also, definitely I, frowned I upon. also got four banks as well. <laughs> For <fuck's sake. laughs> I got four banks. I lot, a lot, a lost one um, transitioning over here. There it is. And guys, do you know what I mean? Save, save the planet. I mean, it's not convenient. You know, the cans just fall out all over the place. These have been shook up pretty intensely on the way here. But they've been, they've been shook up more than Elvis. But they're, they're going strong. And I'm, I'm hoping that at least one of them doesn't explode in my face. Um, and sure, yeah, that was my um, £9.34. I'll... You're not, you're not gonna say that. Yeah, that's, it's that's redundant. I don't want to say I'm underwhelmed. Okay, you're uh, overwhelmed with joy and excitement for me. I feel like some can't phone it in. That, that's, <laughs> look, I was in there for at least seven minutes, and I don't, I don't, I don't like the tone of your voice when you when you say that. I think you should I feel like, a little bit. You're a man of creature comforts. You've clearly, clearly, were just attracted. To those joints that you visited before, and I you just want to, had to tap them again and again, uh, four times in a row. I just I had to. I mean, that's why often I prefer long-term relationships to flings. Um, but so, Stu, I had to. I never seen any of these in home bargains before, and I just thought <laughs> I have to do it, man. And they're all so cheap. I mean, cheaper than I normally get any of them before and 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 with the map you know very rare uh right seeing it about so you know so, i had well, to for episode two yeah have a selection more again. like mine oh, okay i see what you did there leading by One example there Stu. But, I like it. so fair play thank you man i appreciate that and I, I really like your selection as well you got a really good uh good number of brews there um so in let's terms pally of, it up 
Yeah, in terms of number one, that is... Well, I guess you have nine. That's... Nine. And I have one, two, I believe seven. Yes! Round one to Thomas. Come on, that'll be here somewhere. There? Just wait till you there? see the words I put, put it in. over my head again, like you normally do. Um, okay, that's one to me. The second is variation. How many different either brands or styles of beer did we mm-hmm. get? So I have, Tom has yes, three brands and three styles of beer. Uh, extra stout, mild, and international pale lager. Yes. So, what are you? Are you giving yourself six points? Well, the, the, or gonna, just this, are we going just for the yeah. style? Well, it's like top trumps. You know, it's mm-hmm. it's uh, it's the most numbers in a well, the best number out of your categories. So, yeah, I've got three. I'm gonna go with three. So, what have mm-hmm. you got? I believe I have four. And I, I want to see cans. Two pilsners. See. Two pilsners. One extra stout. Yep. Uh, a premium beer, which I assume we, we is don't, a better. But we need we need confirmation on that, judges. We need confirmation on this on this brew. So yep, yeah, uh, it's just premium beer. That's not a category. <laughs> Tell Iron Maiden that. <laughs> What's the stripper? Premium. Uh, it's a strong bitter, but it says a golden ale on the. So yeah, I, I would bottle, probably I class this as a better. But have you drank? You have drank it yet? We don't. I know. have. I've, I've had resolution before. You've had a resolution before. Yeah, I had was a that New Year's or last year? And that was my drink with it. And it was a bitter. Yes. Okay. Well, I didn't think that you know, we were allowing cheese. Category. Though, but... I will call it pale ale since we have an English pale ale, a vocation pale ale, okay, and a juicy pale ale. Okay, I think if you wanted to be like a sassy bastard, you could probably split them up a bit further. But I'm gonna. No, I, I'm I gonna don't want to be that person. I'm gonna so appreciate you not four. doing that. So you've only beaten me by a single point. That's it's pretty good. Second round to me. Well, if now, you went, but if you went with brands, wouldn't you go with? Oh, well, if it was brands, I would have destroyed you. Okay, but you decided to. You stuck you know, to three, and just, I've. I played by the rules I okay. thought we established. You decided and to I be had the, seven. You decided to be the better man and go for the styles over yeah, better, the amount. Not better. Okay. Well, unlike resolution, we'll we'll never know. Because obviously we've established what that is for certain. Um, okay. Number three. So that's one point each. Yes. The decider. Is, but I feel like I've been screwed over. And no, I, I didn't like... get any decider, I got beer. Montreal screw job. This is how Bret Hart feels. There's a bit of, screw- <laughs> There's a so, bit of screwing going on earlier. Now, yes, and now. And have enough. you tallied up the volume, the milliliters on that table in front of you? No, but I'm doing it right now. At 3.645 liters. Yeah? 3.64 liters. Five. Six four five. Sure. Okay. Don't forget the five. So we could round that up to three six four three three six forty. So three six. I, I did my maths prior to the recording. Oh, okay. And my beers totaled up to two point eight six liters. So I've won. You have. Yay! I just throw it out the rules. Come on. The, the rule of no doublers. The winners make the rules. They don't. Winners break the rules. They don't make. No, they make and break the rules. They do both of those things. They don't follow them. Ladies and gentlemen, please leave a note in the comments if I was robbed. Because I feel robbed. Okay. Now, I do know now what it is to feel truly better after being screwed over by my I feel co-host. very lager. A bit stouty, actually. So but that was because I, I had a big, I had a big tea. A lot of dinner, a lot of dinner. Do we care? I'm not sure anymore. Okay, we're gonna celebrate with a the beer then. <laughs> so <laughs> let's. Where are we going next for episode two of Beer Wars? Woo! We are going 
to your local co-op. Yeah. Let's get some more co-op beer. Sorry, co-op beer. Let's get, <laughs> obviously, let's get some more Coronation Street beer. Woo! Stu loves that one. He loves that one. Our ale. Our ale. Not yours. Oh, Guys, no. thank yeah. you for joining us for the very first, the, the premiere episode of a Beer Wars uh, Bargain Brews on a Budget. Just remember, guys, that the, 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 tongue. the four Bs, remember the four Bs, not bring, bring your own beer, bring your own beer to the barbecue, just, just bring your own beer. No, we'll supply the beer to the Beer Wars. You don't have to bring anything, guys. Take it easy. Just chill out. Just come. Enjoy yourself. Um, thanks. <laughs>